hey my friends Jean-Serge Gagnon here so do you want to know how to grow your followers do you think you should be growing your followers really fast is that a good idea to grow your followers as fast as possible is that the goal that you should have when you're starting to build online I know I did it I started growing my followers really fast and I can tell you today whether it's a good idea or not the benefits and the drawbacks of doing it because there are some positives to doing that and there are some negatives so let's get into that in just a second but first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. Oh my god so I remember I remember you know I did that I did that I I when I first started online I learned how, one of the first things I did well okay let's let's back up a little bit just a little bit of my backstory so when I was doing this uh, before going online I was growing a network marketing business right I was actually uh, going and talking to people in person and I was getting their numbers and I was setting up appointments I'm not really sure what's going on with my light it's probably the the automated uh, recording but anyways yeah so I was going out there I was talking to strangers I was getting phone numbers and I was doing it all you know offline right that was like five six years ago or so even longer because I've been in network marketing home business for longer than that since 92 or something like that and but the thing is that one of the things I learned is the skill to you know improve the amount of sp the speed at which I was able to get somebody's number right so the faster you can get a number the better because that means you're going to get more numbers in a week for example or in a month right you're going to get more people to talk to and once you're you ran out of people to talk to in your friends and family you got to go out and talk to strangers right that's the whole point or the whole I guess the whole idea of building a business uh, and you know when it's a home-based business you're talking to people in really any business same thing right you got to go out there and you got to get new customers you got to talk to people you got to let them know about what you have what your opportunity is or what your product is if you're a pizza shop right you I mean sure you can pay for ads that's one way but if you're not if you don't have the budget for it then it's getting you know the word of mouth out there getting deals out there getting people that talk about your business to talk about how great your pizza is you got to get the traction so that people know about you and know you know that that you exist and know that you've got products and know that you're you know a company to to like like I said if you're selling pizza you gotta people know that you're the place to go buy a pizza at, right so that's the the whole aspect of getting customers going out there and, and um, so to grow your followers fast so if you're out there and then we're let's just even before online like like I said for me when I was doing it offline I would I would want to talk to as many people as I could I needed to present my opportunity I needed to talk about my product to as many people as I could and you know one of the things is you want to increase the the amount of of positive responses right so I mean you could go and talk in a crowd of a thousand people and just talk about your product but nobody would be interested right because unless it's the most insane product and we all believe our products our company our services are insane they're the best but unless they really are and other people just see it without without you having to do anything then you need to build a relationship you need to grow your connections you need to be able to talk to them figure out what their problems is whether your product or opportunity solves a problem all these things you got to figure all that out right and all that takes time so this the the the, the thing that you're tr trying to do when you're trying to whether you're doing it online or offline is you're trying to speed up the process between getting their number getting to know them and them hearing about your opportunity right so the amount of time it takes to do that you're trying to make it shorter and shorter and shorter as as you get it to be done shorter you can do more in a day or in a week or in a month right and that's what I had learned I had learned the skills to get the number really fast I was able to go and talk to a stranger and within a few minutes I was able to ask them for their number and I even have an ebook on that that uh, that I kind of teach you the skills on how to do that if you're interested in that just let me know but the thing is that that's a skill that I learned and I was 
like okay let's do it online so when I started online I was a noob I was a green I didn't know I didn't have that many connections I wasn't really an online personality I wasn't somebody who people already knew who people already connected with I didn't really have relationships online just the same as I don't really have that many relationships in my personal life or in my uh, offline life I should I guess I should say I mean the thing is that the people I know weren't really into that stuff I didn't really know that many people that were interested in building a business online making money from home that kind of stuff so what I did is I started I learned one of my first things I did is I went out there and I see okay how can I learn to I want to grow my Twitter followers I want to grow my Facebook fans I want to grow my my blog viewers my email list everything I want to grow it so fast so fast so I learned the skills to grow like say Twitter for example I went and I got a course on how to grow your Twitter followers really fast the best way to do it Whew, I'm sorry and I even learned about like LinkedIn I went and I figured out how to do it I even teach how to do that I even teach how to grow your LinkedIn followers I teach how to grow your Twitter followers I do all those things and the thing that okay so the thing is that is it a good idea to do that right should you grow your followers fast that's the question right the question we have right now today is should you grow your followers fast well first I'm going to tell you the benefit of doing that first of all by learning to grow your followers fast you're learning lots of great skills on on what works what doesn't work the strategies of different platforms how to get that done you're learning lots of things you're also growing in your uh, perceived influence right so people see your page if they go to your Facebook page and they see you only have 10 followers they wouldn't have the same reaction to if they see you have a hundred thousand followers right or ten thousand followers same thing with your Twitter followers or fans I should say on Facebook same thing with connections on LinkedIn same thing with your followers on on on, on uh, Pinterest on on um, Instagram on TikTok and you know all those platforms people do have this perceived impression that you are more knowledgeable you're you're worth following whatever if you have a large number so there is that for sure um so that's another thing the other thing is uh say for example in um in uh, LinkedIn LinkedIn is a platform where people will connect with you based on your connections they'll 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 find you if you're connected with lots of other influencers if you will right so if you've got lots of connections on there that are like for me I've got connection with the one-on-one -on -one connection with with uh, Eric Worry with uh, with Mark Lalonde with with uh, I forget uh, Dan Loke um, who else am I connected directly that's uh, really uh, anyways I don't really remember but the way that the way that LinkedIn works is that it'll like whenever you're searching for somebody right and you're searching for something in particular they'll you'll be found if you have connections to influencers more than if you're not right so the number of connections you have affects how how well you are found and when people see you um they'll they'll have a different uh they'll have a a different reaction based on your number of connections that kind of stuff so that's that's all true that's all good that's all positive a good reason to grow your followers really fast so for Facebook for example I actually uh grew my Facebook fans uh to like 20,000 or so even in like I did I did that within a, a day I ate to 18,000 or something at one point in the past by just spending like about 200 bucks in ads now I'm not saying that's good to do it that way and actually it's not good <laughs> but I'm telling you that it is uh something that's possible if you and you can do it uh, different ways um but and so we're going to get into why what are the negatives of doing that right and I think the main thing the main thing that that is that makes it not a good idea to do that um is really that your your followers the people that are following you you really want them to be interested in what you have to talk about and one thing that I found over the years that I did wrong is that I talked about you know subject a 
then I built a big following of them then I started talking about subject b and all these fans that were interested in subject a they're not interested in subject b so that really caused a big problem for me because it made the all these people that were interested in subject a when I started talking about subject b they were like and just give you an example network marketing versus you know cryptocurrencies versus course creation those kinds of things so I talked about different things over the years I kind of changed my message because I kind of focused more on things you know a couple of years back I was heavily into cryptocurrencies whenever that big bubble of bitcoin to 20,000 or so was right and I was really into it a lot and I believed in I still believe in cryptocurrencies but I'm not like super into that it that much I, I have some and whatever but it's just for me it's more of a more of a it's not the f core of where I want to go now with the course uh, income secrets and all that right so course creation and growing your followers having a big following is important but at the same time you want that following to be interested in what you're talking about now so for me if I have and what happened for me is that when I started talking about uh, I, I started off with uh, network marketers affiliate marketers that kind of stuff and then I went to bitcoins cryptocurrency I started talking about cryptocurrency right and all these people that were interested in network marketing they're like I'm not interested in cryptocurrencies uh, you know lots of them thought it was scams and all this and they basically didn't like what I was talking about so they they flagged my content or they flagged me or they st started unfollowing me that kind of stuff and in social media that's very bad because social media is all about automation they automate every most every uh, thing that happens in in social media through the your accounts your platform is automated right so if you become somebody who is talking about something that people aren't in, aren't interested in you're going to get flagged as as a bad account right so you don't want that and that's one of the things that that's why it's so important to talk about one topic and stick to that topic don't go changing and changing and changing I did that so I learned from this and I want you to learn from that that if you want to grow your followers fast that's fine but make sure that you're changing and and okay there's something else but yeah make sure that you're talking about the same thing and you're not changing your topic it's the same topic or maybe it's a it's a clarification or a precision like for me for example I could be talking about network marketing and then I can start talking about creating courses for network marketers right and just be talking about courses but still be around the network marketing area right so for me I'm talking about creating courses uh, for people who want to build a business online so that can be uh, affiliate marketers it could be uh, network marketers it could be other kinds of businesses and that's why I'm focused on that now and but the people that were following me because of bitcoins or because of cryptocurrencies or because of network marketing some of them they're like not interested in what I have to talk about now so now my fan base is kind of like mixed up so that's why I'm creating new pages I'm creating new accounts that kind of stuff to to clarify more my message and be just about you know course income secrets right and that's what thing you have to remember so the other thing that might not be another reason why it's not good to follow your follow well it depends on strategies you use but if you use something like Facebook ads like I did that's bad because it ties into your account and your your personal profile as well so now they know that one of the admins of the page did something they weren't supposed to like growing your fans with a 200 dollar budget to get to to get to like 18,000 fans or something they don't like that because basically you're getting fans in a way that they don't they're not getting paid for it right they want you to get fans by by doing ads that uh, attract people that doing ads to get likes I didn't do ads to get likes I did a strategy that gets likes in a kind of roundabout way and they don't like that they don't like that that is considered not okay and so that's the thing right as a marketer we try these different things we try to do these different strategies that get us results that that you know are just you know kind of like on a gray line right we're on a line and if we cross that line if we cross the line and we do something that they don't like well we get slapped for it 
and that's the nature of the beast right I mean we're doing something online with somebody else's platform it's it, it's it's their platform they're allowed to not like what we do right and that's the thing so you got to be careful when you're doing that that you're following there it's just like for example the Twitter following uh, strategies which are similar in other platforms that use followers right follow somebody they follow you back kind of thing like any of those platforms they have you have limits if you try to follow too many people in a single day even like I'm doing that with TikTok sometimes I'm following and following and unfollow afterwards and anyways there's these strategies right and if you try to do it more than what the platform wants you to do you're going to get a notification right it's going to tell you you're doing this too fast or slow down or you're blocked or there's lots of different things that happen that's called uh, like in Facebook for example you can get to a point where you can't even like anything anymore they'll block your like button you won't be able to post in groups you won't be able to uh, send a message there's all these different things that happen and by the way I've hit all those things because I've been I've tried different things and you're going to hit those things too if you try to do all these automated things or try to do it really fast because you're trying to grow really fast so that's one thing that happens even if you even if you grow your followers and you constantly hit that limit every day it's not good that either so you got to be careful of that and the problem is that you don't know what those limits are unless you try right is it 50 is it 100 is it is it 25 uh what is the limit right uh what is considered acceptable it, that's a platform thing each platform has a different you know different rules and it can even be by country it can be by location by device by there's all sorts of different things and you don't know what it is they don't publish that and that's the thing as a marketer online you you're going to try things you're going to try different things you're going to and the other thing too is that you're probably going to buy courses from somebody who who did a training uh, six months a year two years five years ago even uh, on a platform that's different now and if you follow those strategies you might not get the same results because things have changed the platform has changed the strategies have changed the way the the way people use them has changed that stuff can change and if it changes and you try to do the same thing that they've done it might not be a good idea so that's why when you're when you're looking at online courses especially courses that have to do with platforms and especially with courses that have to do with growing your followers or even paying people to grow your list grow your followers be very careful with that be very careful make, <laughs> make sure you talk to somebody you trust make sure you talk to somebody who can tell you whether uh, they've used that strategy or not whether they've used that course or not make sure you know that the person that that is telling you about it is somebody you know and you trust already right don't just go by googling or finding like for example I've been I've done some uh, solo ads right with uh, with these people that are online that they tell you I've done this I've got this deal of you know it's I just spent this hundred bucks whatever it was just to try it out and the thing is that I got no results from that and even when I look at it and lots of people say there's there's scams and I I guess I believe it but the thing is that they still get you uh they get you a uh, you see they have a link so you see all these people there's all these registrations probably fake people maybe some are real maybe they're just they're real people but they're the people that are entering their information is not them they just take it from some list right all these things and the thing is that that's the kind of thing that you do when you test and you try things out because you're so hungry to get results right I'm I'm hungry to get results so of course I'll try different things I want to know what happens but if you want to get better results then learn from people like like me or anybody else who's tried these things and who's telling you don't do that don't do that why so like the solo ads why how do what do I know now when I go and I look at these uh, solo ads I'm going to ask them questions like can you tell me about this or that or this and they don't even answer they just keep telling me do you want to do you want to try do you want to try and I keep saying well why don't you answer the questions they don't even answer they come back with something else later saying do you want to do you want to do you want to deal do you want to deal whatever so I know that they're not they don't either they don't even understand English or they don't care they're just spamming a bunch of people right and the other thing is also that they have all these testimonials in a Facebook group or in a place like this 
and the thing is that those people who put those testimonials they're, they're just fake accounts you can't even talk to them you can't even ask them questions you can't even message those people right so they don't exist so that's the thing <clears throat> if you're trying to do something that's supposed to grow your followers get you email subscribers get you Facebook fans Instagram fans all these things be very careful with those things <coughs> mm, sorry be very very careful they are not they are mostly not true so if you have a question if you're wondering if you want uh, a second opinion then go ahead and message me I would love to help you out with that and uh, hopefully get you to avoid mistakes that I've made and get you going on the success where you can grow your followers there's ways to grow your followers fast the right way and there's ways to do it wrong and also is it worth growing fast what is the benefit of growing fat what are the negatives if you um, just listen to the rest of the video this uh, episode you'll see what I talk about all right so we'll talk to you again soon this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon, until next time.